guys, what's up? It's Andrea and welcome back to my channel. This week I am so so excited to show you guys what I'm going to be DIYing for you today. A lot of you guys have been talking about this new trend going around lately where people are actually making edible butter slime. So I thought, you know, why not bring the pastel unicorn trio back and give you guys some edible unicorn butter slime. So that's what we're going to be doing today. I'm not the first person to do this, nor did I invent it. So I have linked the people who I've seen do it, who I think are like the first people to do it down below. So you can go ahead and check them out if you want to. If you like things like this, if you want to see more things like this, then you should definitely give the video a thumbs up because that lets me know, like I always say, that it's something that you like so that I can make more of it. If you like me and you want to see more videos from me, you should definitely take a few seconds and go subscribe. And then you you can see two videos a week from me on this channel and it would be really awesome to see you there. If you want to be really, really awesome and really extra and you want to join the notification fam, you definitely should go ahead and click the bell icon so that you can become part of the notification fam. These are a few of the newest people who have joined. Thank you guys so much. I really appreciate you being here. Also, one more thing. I am restocking Saturday, this week on Saturday. The link to the Etsy store should be down below and if you're following the store then you'll be notified when it gets put up and what I'm selling and there should also be a list of what I'm selling down in the description for this week and then continuing on I decided instead of just putting a temporary video of what I'm restocking on this channel and then privating it, what I did was made a whole new channel that's just specifically for things relating to my Etsy store so if you guys want to see the videos that I normally do where I'll show you the slime that I'm restocking, definitely go ahead and click that link down below. It should take you straight to the video and it should be up or it should be up in the next day or two to show you what I'm restocking this week. So let's go ahead and go make the butter slime. It's fondant, but it's still cool. Okay, so these are the things that you're going to need. There aren't actually a lot of ingredients in this recipe, so that's pretty cool. And if you're wondering why I'm wearing a sweatshirt, it's like 60 degrees here and I'm, I'm cold. <laughs> so this is just basically marshmallows and powdered sugar and then we have the food colorings because you can color your funfetti frosting shots whatever color you want starting out with a bowl we're going to melt our marshmallows mine took about i would say 50 to 60 seconds to melt kind of see that's them right there and they kind of looked like that i feel like it needs a little bit more time like they're a little bit lumpy and then once they were fully melted, I stirred them around a little bit and then we're going to be adding our powdered sugar in, I would say a fourth cup by fourth cup. One thing that I will say that you should definitely do that I didn't is sift your powdered sugar. I did have a few lumps in my butter slime because I didn't sift it. I 100% recommend it, I just didn't think of it at the time. So just mixing, adding, and mixing, and adding, and keep doing this until you can touch your butter slime and it's not sticky, it won't stick to you. That's how you know that it's done. Mine is a long way off from that. <laughs> and then once it gets too stiff to mix, you're gonna have to knead it. So make sure that you put powdered sugar or cornstarch on the board. We're gonna pour our butter slime out on the board and we're gonna knead it until it is fully filled with powdered sugar I guess until it's not sticky anymore basically because you can see even now you can touch it but it's still a little bit sticky I'll say in total this process took like 20 minutes it's a long time and it's definitely a messy recipe but if you just want to try it out for fun maybe make it with your friends this is definitely something that you could do that would be really fun and this is what it looks like when it was done you can see there are just a few little lumps that really annoyed me that they were there, but you know, what can you do? And now that we have our base made, and I'm showing you how it stretches and everything, we are going to dye it pink because, you know, basic funfetti frosting shots, I always make them pink because I think it's super cute. So after that has been dyed pink, we are going to, you know, after I, I finish playing with it, are, are you done, Andrea? Are, can, can we get on with the frosting shots, please? There you go. Okay, so I have these cute little containers. These are two ounce containers, and I'm just taking a little bit of that butter slime and putting them in the containers. Just a little bit of a tip, if your butter slime is becoming too solid, maybe you added too much powdered sugar or it got cold, you can actually microwave it for a few seconds and it reheats it and makes it soft again. So that was completely a mistake on my part, but you know, whatever, it, ma it makes it look pretty, right? 
So then you just take some of your little nonpareils and you put them on top. And there you go, frosting shots. I made about five and a half, I would say. Five and a half two ounce frosting shots from this recipe with one bag of marshmallows and then that powdered sugar. And this is what they look like. And you know, more nonpareils because they look super cute. And I'm just being all kinds of clumsy today, you guys. Excuse me for that. And there you go. There is our Funfetti Frosting Shot Butter Slimes. I hope you guys like them. And that was it for the video. Did you guys like it? I really hope that you liked it. I hope that you are inspired to try it or to make it. You could actually even roll it out and put it on your cake because technically it's fondant. So, I mean... If you've made this DIY, I would absolutely love to see what you made, if you created something inspired by it, or if you made the exact same thing. Definitely send me a picture on one of my social medias, or tell me in the comments. I would really love to hear about it. Like this video if you like it. If you want to see more food slime videos, yes, no, I want to make DIY mac and cheese slime really, really soon. So if you want to see that, Tell me down below, because it's a little bit crazy, a little bit out there, so I don't want to do it unless you guys really want to see it. Definitely, like I said, subscribe to me if you want to see two new videos a week, um, and turn on notifications, because that would be really cool, and I would really appreciate it a lot. But other than that, that is about it. I really hope you guys like the video, and I love you very much, and I will see you next weekend, and tomorrow, and most of the other days, because let's be real, I kind of live my life online. Bye. Bye.